very curious. We have to challenge your uh, your thoughts with challenging questions. And uh, yeah, now wait a minute. That's a dangerous way of putting it. Yeah. So not challenging a way so that we can look at that thing. You know, see, one is that whatever is said, you say, okay, okay, I got it. Yeah, without getting it. You know, so when you question it, you're actually reflecting on it. Otherwise, you some people are, you know, the extroverts, they'll just say something for the sake of saying it. Yeah, so there's a, no use of that. So if you think about something and you say, oh, all right, it's not making sense to me. So let me ask a question. Yeah, so it's not exactly a challenge. Or you can say, okay, we can challenge the assumptions. Very nice, thank you very much. Sasha has entered or trying to enter. Good, so carry on the lively discussion until we formally start the discussion. Yeah. So this is a discussion within the discussion. And there's another one going on in your head also. <laughs> Every time. So yeah, we, are, we are not judging, sir. We are not judging it. Okay, Ramaji, over to you. Yeah, okay. thank you. Thank you, Kunain. Uh, good morning. Um, so this judgment has been a uh, theme last, uh, you know, one, one and a half weeks. Um, it's, it's very interesting to know that, you know, uh, even to... Uh, observe whether I'm judging or not, it's not uh, so easy. Um, so, uh, it's some, some clarity comes up that you know, whatever is the observation, whatever I see, there is always a filter which really um, not allows me to look at as it is. So that's, that's probably the judgment uh, based on my past experiences. Um, so that's, that's uh, something uh, ongoing thing, but I'm still not sure whether I completely got the uh, aspect of judgment in each and every observation and interaction. So that is an ongoing process for me right now. Um, so of course, next step is once I know that I'm judging, how do I come out of uh, that mode and see that without judgment? So that is going to be the next step. But right now I'm crawling with the first step of identifying my judgments and uh, seeing that it is an operation. Mm, uh, an interesting one, isn't it? See, it's like yeah. breathing for us. Right. Judging yeah. is like breathing. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So you are aware of your breathing only when it stops, right? Yeah. If somebody holds your mouth or nose, you'll say, oh, I'm not breathing. So the judging is like that. It's all pervasive. It's been happening since, I mean, God knows when. So it's like a constant companion in our... Uh, you know, what we call as the default mode. Okay. So how to come out of it? Well, I think if we just realize that we are doing it, we can disrupt it. Okay. Nice. So let me give you guys who are the early birds, you know, come early. I'll give you a formula for disrupting this great mind of ours. All right. So everybody will say with me. Everything is the opposite of what it appears to be. Say that. Everything, Everything is the opposite, is opposite, opposite of, of, of what it appears to be. Just to me. And nothing is of the opposite of what it appears to be. And nothing, and nothing, and nothing is, is opposite, is of, what opposite of what it appears, appears to be. Yeah, so say that 10 times. Everything is the opposite of what it appears to be. Everything, Everything is, is 10 opposite. times what it appears to me. And <laughs> nothing is the opposite of what it appears to me. And nothing so, is opposite what hai. it appears to me. <laughs> if, nothing is of, everything is opposite of what it appears to me. Everything is opposite of what it appears to me. And nothing is opposite opposite of what it appears to me. And nothing is opposite of what it appears to me. Everything appears. is opposite of what opposite it appears, what to, it appears me. to me. Nothing Everything is opposite, is opposite of what it appears, what appears to me. To me. me. Nothing, nothing is opposite of what it appears to me. Interesting one, isn't it? Yeah. So last night when I was working with Dr. Dane here, he, we were some 200 odd people. And uh, he said, all right, think about all your issues with money. Okay. And then he said, you say this 10 times. And it's interesting, you know, after I said it 10 times, suddenly one big shiver passed through my spine. Like something's got released. 
so you can you know whenever you have an issue that you're dealing with so today we are talking about judgment you know judgment is all pervasive i've been judging myself since i was four years old everybody is judging me i'm also judging me i'm also wondering if others are judging me i'm getting worried that others are judging me you know they should not judge me how should i behave that they don't judge me they should not judge me negatively they should only judge me positively therefore i should behave in this way therefore i should behave in that way and this is what the story of my life is morning till evening i'm worried about people judging me i'm judging them even in my speech it shows that i'm judging them i'm never able to free myself how do i get out of judging all this is going on and on and on and on and on and on lovely isn't it what a wonderful day way to spend the day what a wonderful day to spend the day judging 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 congratulations so let's welcome mr gopal asthana mr gopal asthana is one of our senior citizens like me he is from pune and he is a part of something called the dignity foundation so when you are old you can join that okay so i joined it recently after having addressed them a couple of times so i thought i will invite all the people from the dignity foundation to join us Astana Sahib has joined. So very warm welcome to you, Astana Sahib. We all join together to welcome you. Would you like to say a few words to all of us before we start our deliberations? Not deliberations, discussions, conversations, whatever. Astana Sahib, are you there? Is audio is still connecting, sir? Yeah, yeah. So it doesn't matter. I don't know if he heard our warm welcome. Shakti, good morning. You are looking like Shakti today. Your smile has vanished. You're getting ready to use your Brahmastra. Good morning. You're going to use Divya Shakti power of yours. <clears throat> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Intention is set for today. So, Gopal ji, good morning. Hmm. <clears throat> good morning. Uh, the quote is everything is opposite of what it appears to be and nothing is opposite of what it appears to be <clears throat> interesting no yeah so sometimes we need to disrupt this uh, mind which is so strongly holding on to its opinions and its beliefs you know doesn't want to get shaken up so you say this statement a number of times you know it shakes up when it shakes up it sees new possibilities happening ready garu good morning nice to see you nice yellow shirt you are wearing not yellow but yellow like they say in tamil nadu and kerala then punjab fellows will say yellow 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 <laughs> oh wow we got our resident philosopher joining us right so at what time should we cut off it's what eight okay we will go for another two minutes anything nidhi vitrivel konen anybody you can say anything you want to further the conversation thank you very yes. much sir it is wonderful to see all the energetic people in the morning and it is an opportunity thank you very much for that uh, from the topic today or a kind of a subject today i i give more credit to awareness where everybody is working towards that and we rightly found that and people advised us judgment is the block and more curious to increase my awareness and looking forward to learn a lot from this discussion mm wonderful <clears throat> it's uh, it's like uh, you know checking yourself at every step like on your thoughts ki aap what are you thinking about what are you saying to so, ek conscious uh, effort aap bar bar lete ho ki aap kya soch rahe ho kya kar rahe ho whether it is right or wrong and to cut down there itself okay i need to uh, stop thinking in this manner yeah that's very interesting or you can ask a question to yourself na what am i getting out of judging like this nothing <laughs> so if you ask that question you will you will think now why am i judging and you know something it'll be good today i thought when we will start in a couple of minutes and we'll start in a very interesting place you may not find it very comfortable okay but a good point so this is a question you can always ask yourself what am i getting out of this judgment 
one uh, time like you uh, expressively mentioned ki it's you're wasting energy ha <laughs> but wo kaun chahta hai ki meri energy waste hove waste hove right i think so uh, uh, sorry for that when we when we start judging uh, we we lose the options of our choices and when we become aware we have we have the choices and multiple options multiple choices so, yeah that's that's interesting so there to 100% 100 feet the correct hai ki but question siga ke sanu ki mil raha hai judge karke what are we getting out of judging uh, by the way i am not judging uh, uh, i i find uh, uh, you in a very uh, different uh, uh, Mood yeah, today. I, feel, I am feeling so jolly, like Angela and yeah. jolly. You know. Uh, good to see you, sir. Yeah, I thought everybody can use a dose of jolliness, you know. Jolliness. Yeah. So you can get jolly instead of feeling holy <laughs> all the time, holier than thou. You know. So when we are judging, we are holier than thou. You know. Who is judging? God is judging. Even God is not judging, I suppose. So, so what are we getting is- out of judging? the reason why we are judging is we are in auto mode so we think that we are getting um, we are making the life easy or effort is less when we are in auto mode and the auto mode automatically judges yeah and it is not really thinking you understand so yeah. where is this uh, judging living in your brain brain number 1 2 or brain 3? number 2 brain number 2 right. so what is the purpose of brain number 1 and 2 survival exactly so what you are getting out of it is what survival of yourself or whatever you consider yourself to be survival of your identity survival of your ego see the e says go he is saying go possibilities i don't want i said i want to live in limitation only so i can keep on complaining about it have you noticed that people live in that mode you know why the world is not devoting itself to making me happy and uh so then we go pray in the kovil and say god why am i suffering god is saying who is making you suffer you are why are you coming and praying to me stop judging stop suffering right interesting all right so let's start good morning everybody this is the official morning. start for today's morning and i want you to start by appreciating yourself 100% and you will clap as loudly as you can disturb everybody wow 100% your hand should hurt all your acupressure points are getting stimulated you will feel better and better when you do that come on harder faster keep going keep going keep going all right so that makes you feel good right blood is circulating through your body you know so for a long long time i have called myself a friend who is committed to the fulfillment of your vision okay so today i declare that i am no longer a friend who is committed to the fulfillment of your vision from today onwards i am calling myself transformation catalyst Because last night something happened, you know, and I realized that whenever I touch anybody's life, you know, directly or indirectly, see, in the energetic world, there are maybe millions of people whose lives I touch. Yeah, physically, there may be say twenty-five thousand people whose life I have touched, but energetically, there are millions and millions. And one of the qualities I noticed in my life is that whoever comes into my life, they get empowered, whether I do something or not. I mean, it's amazing. I didn't know this, right? Somebody told me, "Hello, don't you realize this? Why are you hiding your accomplishment? What is your goal?" I said, "This." He said, "But you've already achieved that goal. Now what?" Then he says, "You shift from goals to target. What's the difference? Target is there, and you can choose. Today I will shoot at this target. Tomorrow I will shoot at that target. You can have a new target every day. Okay." so there's a small distinction between goal and target interesting isn't it 
anyway that is some food for your thoughts i mean not those negative thoughts i am talking about the positive ones which we are trying to put in your head this morning all right so we were talking about the judgments so i want you to start thinking close your eyes and try and visualize when was the first time in your life you started judging or you experienced that somebody is judging you i remember something happened in the uh, childhood standard maybe a standard 3 i was there Uh, uh i don't know what i did but my teacher uh, she has called me and told me to stand up on the bench and then so and then what happened after that to that um, maybe i started thinking that teachers are strict or not good or i am not good yeah so that's the day maybe you started judging yourself you know Yeah. See, I remember when I was a small kid. You know, I was the eldest in the family, so parents are very fond of exhibiting you when guests come to the house. No, so my mom and dad will say, "Kid, to come here, say good morning, uncle, good morning, auntie," and then they will do like, nyu, nyu, nyu. It's such an irritating thing, you know, when they do that. And then they'll say, "Okay, beta, uh, tell them that poem you learnt in school yesterday." Okay, so then I would say. Uh, twinkle, twinkle, little star, and blah blah blah. And they say, "Wow, what an intelligent boy!" And then my mother would say, "Okay, children should be seen and not heard. Okay, so go inside." So after that, whenever the guests would come to our house, I would say, "Good morning, uncle. Good morning, auntie," and run away from there because they'll do like this, like this. No. So then, after some time, the first judgment comes. To me, it sounded like a judgment. Oh, kid, too is a very shy guy. he goes inside when people come now by that time i didn't even know what is a shy guy okay so i said oh i am shy that's the first judgment and then i've been judging myself then you know so some standards are put in our head by some people you know my father used to say you're a very lazy fellow go and do some exercise i'm a lazy fellow okay i should not be lazy people should not find out i'm lazy then i don't know for what reason i started judging my legs you know i used to children wear shorts no and i used to be very shy to go to school because i've got very bad legs you know people will think what bad legs he's got nobody may be noticing even okay then i i was waiting we got transferred to chennai you know that time i was in uh, class 9 they said oh in 9th they will allow you to wear trousers so i could not wait till the day they came that i could wear my trousers i wouldn't play games you know because i'm judging myself if i play games i'll see my legs you have to wear shorts how many things we do because we are getting judged no how early it stops so come well, on let's hear a few more kunain was standing up on the bench very good what else when did you start judging yourself i think uh, when i was very small uh, i used to play a lot of sports so my complexion has gone pretty dark because i never cared about the complexion so i was fond of swimming basketball like every game to so it was like you know kallo uh, hai like you know punjabi kali ho gayi hai koi vyah nahi karayega nobody will marry you are becoming black and i never used to care a damn but yes every time i used to hear that rekha jaisi kallo hai types you know rekha jaisi kallo hai that means oh, rekha mein bhi koi defect hai हां मतलब शी हैज शार्प फीचर्स बट शी इज डार्क आई नो सुअर के जैसी शक्ल हो गोरे है तो बोलेंगे ओ कितनी जोनी है शक्ल जैसे सुअर सुअर के जैसी है एज एन अ लॉट ऑफ फॉरेनर्स इन कम दे आर लुकिंग लाइक पिग्स बट वी विल से ओह हाउ नाइस हाउ हैंडसम वी हैव द जजमेंट अबाउट दैट आल्सो सुअर के जैसी शक्ल है वेरी नाइस वेरी नाइस या एवरीबॉडी ट्राई एंड रिमेंबर दैट इट्स जस्ट स्टार्टेड बिकॉज़ समबडी सेड समथिंग the first time in our life we were experiencing that we may not be as perfect as we think till that time we were perfect we are not judging we just living our life happily right merrily exploring laughing playing having fun and judgment fellow came today covid fellow has come that time judgment fellow has come okay next person 
Don't be shy. Maybe I'd no like judging. to. I'd like to mention something over here. Often people judge, but then they use the word opinion instead of. Yeah, what is uh, an opinion anyway? It's a judgment, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, but then if you don't express an opinion, people say you don't have an opinion, therefore you don't have brains. Yeah, so that's a judgment about that also. You never say anything. You don't express your huh. opinion. Something wrong with you. Huh. But you know, if, if, if people want to do what they want to do, let them do. Uh, Why must I go and put my opinion over there? Yeah. Interesting. That's an interesting thing. See how it's all connected and huh? the thread is there. Yeah. I, I mean, that's how it's been. Like they did with me, you know. People used to tease me a lot. So I became a quiet child. Another reason I became a quiet child was, see, I used to ask a lot of questions, very curious brain, mm. right? And comes a point, parents don't want to answer it. They don't know the answer also. So they mm. say, shut up, you talk too much. Mm. I talk too much. Something must be wrong with me. So my chup rahunga. Then I never used to talk. Then also they'll not leave you. He's become a very quiet child. What has happened to him? In Hyderabad, Sikandrabad, my teacher scolded me, right? Mm. So I came home crying and unfortunately I got fever in the evening. My mom's telling my dad, Kittu is a sensitive child. He got sick because his teacher scolded him. Oh, I'm a sensitive child. Mm. It's not good to be sensitive. Now I know it's good to be sensitive. You know, mm. earlier I used to hide when I cried in movies, you know. Mm -hmm. that people will laugh at me that I'm sensitive. Now I mm. cry openly. I don't care. Mm -hmm. Want to judge you, judge you. I am me. I will not pretend. Interesting, mm -hmm. no? All right. Anybody else? Only I am talking. What's the point? You will judge me. You will say, Sukhdeepak says, share. He is not letting us speak only. Chullu, ma. Chullu, sir. Uh, chullu I would like to chullu, share ma. a little, sir. Uh, my wife uh, keeps on telling me that you are poor in handling money. And it is because your whole family is poor in handling money. <laughs> Listen to me. Now I slowly started to believe that I am poor in money. <laughs> yeah, poor also on top of that. First time no, poor, no, then no, I'm I poor am, in money also. I am, I am becoming rich. <laughs> You're not becoming rich. You are rich. Thank you. I am rich. Okay, wonderful. What about the one which started when you were a little chinna? What do you call punnu or what? Punnu is for girls, right? Payan. Chinna Payan. Payan. So what happened when you were Chinna Payan that time? I don't remember anything, sir. Because I was the last son pet to my mother. I was happy. Nothing I remember. Kind of judgment oh. disturbs me. Chalo, we'll have to take you back one day. He ties you or something and you'll remember it. All right, I who's have... the next person? Regression they do, no? Then you remember. <clears throat> okay, okay. okay. I'm, I'm curious to know from uh, Lena, ma'am. Lena Kelkar. Yeah, yeah. One by one, everybody. You can start with Lena ji because she's very quiet today. So we'll be judging you. Lena is very quiet. She doesn't give opinion or sharing. It started from childhood only. Do you remember? Uh, people tell, uh, especially parents, na, you are lazy and also I thought, yes, I'm lazy. Yeah, they, you don't remember the time when they said you're a girl, you're not supposed to do this. You don't you're study. That's that title. Okay. But you remember the exact... Try and remember. Uh, I mean, yeah. It's so funny. It has been fourth or fifth. Hmm. Third, fourth, fifth. Yeah, that's the time. You know, when you are out of the, what do you call, the nursery class to the kindergarten class, that's when all the judging begins, you know. <laughs> you're not studying. What will happen to you? You're a girl, you cannot do this. You stop playing with boys. Girls don't play with boys. Right? <laughs> don't get yourself dirty. Don't go in the sun. You'll become black. Nobody will marry you. All this shit. Correct? Yes. Okay, who is putting something in the chat? Let me check the chat. Okay. Feeling low on energy after vaccination, leaving. All right. He's judging, so he's leaving. See, we judge that feeling low state also, no? Okay, who's next? 
when i born the same day my grandfather given chocolate uh. and i was i was enjoying that and my grandfather told to my mother that uh, you know i am a, i am a very good and skillful boy that judgment oh. is that judgment is all along my life my my what, what, what did he say exactly he he said uh, you know in the, in tamil it is samath paiye which means uh, skillful and uh, good boy oh then you yeah. have to be a good boy no then all your life you have to be a good boy very <laughs> nice i also became good boy when i was 4 years old you know my uh, mom said oh you are a good boy good boys don't get angry very yeah good, all very all good. yes good shakti ji now i'll have to say shakti ji and uh, before sachi just a <laughs> quick second uh, before getting into that uh, rajshekaran uh, sir we have to congratulate rajshekaran rajshekaran has become division e director of ah! master rajshekaran congratulations thank you sir i thought i thought he got promotion in his job also and i would That's then do sir. the bhangra i am waiting for it sir i am waiting for it with your with your guidance yes soon soon yeah, i will yeah. get it one thing um, at a time man see providence is giving to you one by one thank Since you sir why should we give you everything all at once you will not be able to digest so de- yeah. digest one by one congratulations very good all thank right shakti ji um oh, shakti uh for me is uh, from childhood uh, when i was maybe 5 years or 6 years old i didn't remember the exact age my mom used to tell that your brother didn't behave in that way he's a good boy but you are adamant <laughs> you are doing so much you are not deep why you are behaving like that your two brothers are not like that you are like this still it's continue <laughs> but still it's there well interesting thing happens you know sometimes you rebel and say to help with you okay you say i'm like this no i will become like this and show you that also can happen yes it's happened to me still they're <laughs> doing it <laughs> congratulations so you see we are all suffering from mr judgment from god knows when mr covid has just entered into the picture hai na so okay enough about that you can remember <clears throat> for yourself you <laughs> need not to share because otherwise we'll be only sharing when it started but do you notice that this has been our companion since our childhood hai na it's always with us chalo chalo acche bachche bano so may i share something that came yeah. up the memory certainly is that suchitra so uh, somewhere around second standard uh, the memory comes up that there was a serial on tv from japan it was called giant robot and come <laughs> once a week and uh, so uh, while playing uh, uh, so, uh, you you would have to change roles between giant robot and the ones who rescue and all that but i was always fighting for the role of giant robot and getting it so people thought me very bossy they said she's extremely bossy and uh, she always wants the big role and <laughs> and also what happened is once after the uh, play i i had a lot of fun because i was giant robot and others were not having so much fun and uh, after that uh, uh, we saw near uh, somebody's window a full bar of five star had fallen out of the window and it was full of ants and everybody wanted to eat it and i i went ahead and brushed off all the ants and ate it <laughs> so they looked at me as some sort of a despicable wild creature so that is the uh, something that has stuck on that uh, when when the impulse is very strong i'll go ahead and do <laughs> <laughs> what i want <laughs> so your constant companion this keepy cable person who wants to be the boss thank god you never became a singer otherwise you would have become lata mangeshkar <laughs> right so good morning vilas nice to see you my dear wonderful magnificent are you in india now or in thubai where are you <laughs> good morning good morning to all good morning sir i am in dubai Hmm. So, do you remember when you started judging yourself? 
Yeah, yeah. I started uh, basically. I am the first uh, uh, child in my uh, joint family, and uh, my granny and my uh, uh, the parents uh, uh, started judging. Yeah, don't go there. Don't go here. Uh, just you have to take care of yourself and all. You know, lots of pampering and care. so uh, i thought okay i should not go there i should not go here so lots of restrictions so i started judging uh, okay I, as a, as a child i should not do this i should not do that so lots of limitations uh, so that type of judgment started in the childhood hmm so you have your constant companion so everybody has got his pet judgment you know so great and uh, what does it do every judgment creates limitation in your awareness of something greater because it's putting you inside a box okay so thank you everyone for sharing your lovely um, judgment that you made up about yourself and what is the purpose of these morning conversations the purpose of this morning conversations is to have a great day and have a life that comes to me with ease joy and glory that's what you want isn't it ease joy and glory money shani everything else follows so now some technical work okay imagine imagine means imagine having zero judgments can you imagine that <coughs> that you have zero judgments you have no pre preconceived notions of what is right and what is wrong you notice that mostly we have our own preconceived notions about what is wrong and what is right i had this funny preconceived notion you know when you go to other people's house you should never ask that you want to go to the toilet very embarrassing but why nobody told me that but i carried that all my life you know so if i have to go to somebody's house or office and ask them where is the washroom is a very embarrassing thing for me but what's wrong with it nothing no but because of my preconceived notion of what is right and wrong so please imagine that you have no judgment about anything you have no perceived preconceived notions about what is right and what is wrong how many things would you experience for the first time because you are not having any judgments how many things would you experience for the first time how many possibilities would open up for you you know possibilities which are not opening up because you are judging even in business or in personal life or with the wife or with husband or with children or with having fun in life every area of your life how many things would you experience for the first time how many possibilities would open up for you and the truth is our judgments put us into boxes restricting our potential and possibilities within the boundaries of our own self created limitations so when i say this what is it bringing up for you anything that comes up for you you can say it however we can create an entirely new world for ourselves by simply shifting our perceptions and letting go of those things that we know to be true you understand we know like god came and told us it is true things are like this only we hold on to our beliefs as the truth if you can let go of those and let go of this strong belief that these things are true so imagine having zero judgments imagine that you have no preconceived notions of what is right and wrong then how many things would you experience in your life for the first time how many possibilities would open up for you and the truth is that our judgments are putting us into boxes 
हमारी जो जजमेंट्स होती हैं वो हमको सीमित करती है रिस्ट्रिक्ट आवर पोटेंशियल एंड पॉसिबिलिटीज विद इन द बाउंड्रीज ऑफ आर ओन सेल्फ क्रिएटेड लिमिटेशन लेट मी शेयर विद यू समथिंग वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग यू नो दर आई बीन ऑन दिस मिशन ऑफ ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन सिंस नाइनटीन एटी टू and i have this judgment that i have to be a certain way you know the right way i should be only like this then only i can make a difference to people and that was a limitation yesterday i realized that my presence will make a difference whichever way i might be so i could give up my judgment that there is this right way to be with people then only i can make a difference right so that box which was restricting me that i can only be a certain way with people you know i have to be able to go do or whatever it is i realized i don't have to be that because i am making a difference anyhow that gave me the fruit freedom okay now we can create a completely new world for my ourselves by simply shifting our perceptions letting go of those things which we know to be true so see i knew i thought yeah, i knew it is the truth that if you want to transform people you have to behave in a certain manner you have to speak only in a certain manner right for me that was the truth it was making me behave in a certain way so one of the things that was there was oh you have to be always nice to people even if you are getting angry with them you should not allow the anger to come because anger is bad how do you know that subdeepak i know that is the truth how do you know it's the truth i know it is the truth did god come and tell you it is the truth i don't know but it is the truth so if you can give up that which you believe to be so true and whatever you believe to be so true is giving you the life you want so if you want a different life what do you think you should do ladies and gentlemen so the floor is yours so whatever i said what is it that's opening up for you if you had no judgment what would you be saying so may i what ask you a different question yes uh, sir to uh, me madam you can ask so the Sushita, question ma'am if if you want uh, you envisage yourself as a transformational catalyst aren't you still putting yourself at a voltage much higher than others uh, i mean who says that others are not because if i say that i have discovered that i am a transformation catalyst does it automatically mean others are not uh, why is this morning talk called empowering conversations because i believe everybody has the role of being a catalyst if they choose to be right uh, so Just then like then me if if everybody is the catalyst then where is the base element sir where, where <laughs> yeah yeah so now which truth you were told that there has to be base element what base <laughs> element life is a base element consciousness is a base element consciousness of which we are a part right okay. we are all interconnected we are all one okay there is no doubt on that isn't it okay 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 i mean yeah. if we live in the oneness nobody is above anybody yeah Okay, I don't so believe that. The 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 sort of target you were setting for uh, the um, role you want your consciousness to to no, take. No, no, uh, I'm not taking a role. It's a realization. So, Deepak, you are a change catalyst. You're a transformation catalyst. That's who you have been for many many years. Please continue. Your presence. See, when you operate in oneness, no, Suchi. What okay. you'll realize is that you are a vibration just like everybody else is. okay right okay and you know it's like you've heard of that chaos theory which says you know if a leaf falls here there may be earthquake in japan right the yeah. vibration goes out right as yeah. long as you see it what we've been doing is trying to limit ourselves you know we uh-huh. made this identity which says i have to be like this okay so, so sometimes when you let go and you just be unfettered uh-huh. then people will put a label on you oh this person is crazy we don't know how they are behaving they are something borderline blah 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 correct ha uh, i mean come on our <laughs> presence see because we are judging so much we've always thought that i must be like this then only i can make a difference i must be like this then only i will get more money i must be like that then only i will get love because the way people have been around us and the judgment we made is 
oh if you want love you know so deep you must become a very sweet guy somebody else might have made up that i must be a harsh interrogator i will not get love unless i grab it so i have to behave in a intimidating factor in a fashion so all these are coming from judgments isn't it ah right i mean, even if i have to say that i am a change catalyst i mean who am i saying it for i know it <laughs> <laughs> i know it anyway right but sometimes people don't know how to relate with you no ha uh-huh. they who is this deepak sundeepak change catalyst healer coach trainer horse trainer ah <laughs> so chita i think it's in the same manner like we will say ki okay we are a, a commerce pass out or we are a doctor or we are a chartered accountant so in the same manner he, you know people uh-huh. accept and communicate okay i'm a facilitator or i'm a life coach so it's it's normal i think it's pretty normal yeah. i would rather not go and tell people hello i will disrupt your thinking <laughs> i will collapse your reality you will not recognize who you are after you meet me so many many people uh, what i've noticed with a lot of people is like they always carry a label with them you know by their profession or uh, by whatever they think they are um, uh, it's not a judgment you know uh, just my observation that uh, even us you know we don't carry ourselves as just a human being we carry ourselves as oh you know i'm you know so many people work under me you know i have done this i have accomplished this just throw everything out just be uh just be uh, this is my observation yeah we can just be and there's no harm in uh, acknowledging your accomplishments yeah because when you accomplish and you acknowledge then it becomes more real okay but it doesn't put you on a plane higher than others no we don't want i mean we are not like holier than thou we even have yeah. a judgment about that yeah you notice that we have a judgment i should not become holy than thou i should not become what arrogant therefore i should be having humility so whatever we call humility humility doesn't mean that you are subservient to someone right but it's wonderful but i will appreciate it very much khasa if once we get to see you and know who is this wonderful magnificent extraordinary human being which we are not able to see we can only see one gate over there so your gateway to the heavens for all of us is it <laughs> sir uh, to add to this conversation i get two thoughts uh, quickly i'll share uh, it is uh, when i was checking what is a catalyst means it says in the dictionary it is a kind of a substance which increases the rate of chemical reaction it it adds it answers our questions it need not be up, above the thing or below the thing there is no range of things it is like it makes us to act faster and one more thought which uh, supports uh, this discussion is yesterday i was reading a vegananda quote he says our purpose is to for people are driving towards towards their ambition we have to encourage them and we have to help them to be with the truth some of he also says some of uh, maximum possible we have to align it with the truth in that way uh, this uh, we can take him as a substance which can activate us very faster so that a particular chemical reaction happens <laughs> i see it and it answers my question and you know those who know chemistry you know that catalyst is required in very little quantity you know i mean there are huge amount of chemicals out there this we are lucky below. that we are lucky that we have 60 plus <laughs> kg substance hello 85 kg substance but that's only my body weight yeah But what i'm saying is that as compared to the humanity that is there as compared to the consciousness that you all are you know we are all infinite beings and i'm also one of them there's nothing very significant about it right so a catalyst is just like a very small insignificant thing but by by being there you know it sets off a reaction right so very good i mean thank you very much suchi you have opened up the can of worms so we are really examining oh is sukdeepak arrogant or what is he putting himself on a pedestal or what definitely so not 
we also want to be transformational catalyst for you that's what so i mean you are the fact that you're there in my life all of you you are a transformational catalyst in my life you think i'm not learning from you in this yeah. little interaction we've learned to look at things differently isn't it but on a lighter note sir what is that we are teaching you i am little skeptical <laughs> many things how, how not, not to be not to be it <laughs> i don't know you figure it out you no, want no. everything in one dose ha huh? <laughs> my fees for telling you that is 1 lakh rupees <laughs> think it over you want to know <laughs> hmm regarding the price sir regarding today's uh, non judgmental uh, content the course um, i listened to one speech uh, regarding conscious parenting in that the speaker told you know as as a kid everybody um, uh, telling this is good this is bad that kind of paradigm paradigms of stories are told to kids and this paradigm only we are growing whether we we have to follow this paradigm or that paradigm this paradigm or that paradigm so human being we may think we are doing a great thing but we are just uh, navigating through the stories which is kind of uh, you know like a uh, judgment and uh, uh, like rama said it is a auto mode in the stories we are navigating when you say that we have to come out of all the judgment it is look like all the framework we are breaking and coming out with the new mindset raja jayakaran sir i am not saying you should come out of judgment i am only saying that there are consequences if you are living in judgment yeah the consequences possibilities are limited but the, the judgments judgments uh, in the kids uh, during the kids uh, stage itself we were planted with the judgments and we exactly. are not growing apart from that we are just exactly. growing our judgments only our framework only we exactly. have to come out of the framework and uh, well you can choose to if you want to you don't have to you can live like that also what's wrong with it you want to live like that nobody is saying anything i mean you will have a limited life so what a lot of people live and die limited life mm mm-hmm. you know you can choose to have an unlimited life okay so wonderful yes, sunday morning anybody else any question any comment quick one sir sorry quick one that i want you to repeat that statement again everything appears opposite to ah, everything is opposite of what it appears to be and nothing is opposite of what it appears to be so is that to be or to me to be to be okay what it appears to be so sir my question is when we uh, drop our judgment then we can lead our life very freely i think so then <laughs> but uh, people uh, will judge us so and what? that affects us if why that... do you care huh why do you care yes we don't have to care that but it see they will judge you whatever you may do anyway yeah you know if you do something good also they will judge you if you do do something which they don't agree with they will judge you some mm-hmm. people are only judging in order to control you isn't it yes yes so why are we no. why are people judging us for what what are they getting out of judging us we are not fulfilling their expectations they we are judging others now no 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 that's all right but this is a valid question now we must answer it so should we uh, give the power to people by getting influenced by their judgment yeah Sir, I think you greatly mentioned in relationship that one should not be vulnerable to. Uh, so you should people. be vulnerable. Okay, you should be vulnerable. It's not written anywhere. You should not be vulnerable. The more vulnerable you are, the more close you will be. अरे निधि जी मुझे एक बात बताएं अगर आपने लोहे का कवच पहना हुआ है तो आपको कोई जिप्पी मारेगा तो आप उनको फील करोगे तो आपको कवच उतारना पड़ेगा ना वलनरेबल होना ही पड़ेगा ना क्योंकि अगर वलनरेबिलिटी कुछ बाहर जाने नहीं देती है तो कुछ अंदर भी नहीं आने देती है ना कमेंट्स वेल व्हाट डोंट यू वांट द लव एनर्जी दी दी पॉजिटिव एनर्जी टू कम इनसाइड यू यू वांट द क्लोजनेस टू बी विथ यू बट इफ यू आर पुशिंग पीपल अवे व्हाई वी आर नॉट वलनरेबल बिकॉज वी आर अफ्रेड 
What is the opposite of vulnerable? Protecting. Protecting strong. So, जब तक आप you are protecting yourself from others, how can they be close to you? <coughs> See, from the childhood, one belief has come. No, my mom used to be be very careful. People will take advantage of you. बच के रहना बाबा. So, from small childhood, my children used to tease me in school a lot. No, because I was this angry in Punjab. speaking english they used to find me very funny so you know hindi nahi aandi punjabi nahi aandi angrez aa gaya sala you know so i used to say oh, people are dangerous am i vulnerable to people if i think that uh, they are dangerous if i am always protecting myself with people will i have a relationship with them socho socho so this you will not ask. have so everything everything is the opposite of what it appears to be and nothing is the opposite of what it appears to be so everybody say with me 10 times before we close the session today everything is the opposite of what it appears to be everything and nothing is. is opposite of what it appears to be yes to me yeah. everything is opposite everything is of opposite what it appears, what it appears to me and nothing is opposite what it appears to, to, to be okay Pitre will as kindly put it in the chat box also. So everything, yeah, is the opposite of what it appears what to be. What appears to me, nothing is the opposite of what it appears to be. What it appears to me, to be, not to me. Okay. Everything is the opposite of what it appears to be, and nothing is the opposite of what it appears to be. Yeah, everything is the opposite of what it appears to be. Yeah, everything is the opposite of what it appears to be. And nothing, nothing is the opposite of what it appears to be. What it appears to be. Everything is opposite. Everything is opposite of what it appears to be. Nothing is opposite of what it appears to be. Everything is the opposite of what it appears to be. Everything is opposite of what it appears to be. Nothing is opposite of what it appears to be. Nothing is opposite of what it appears to be. Everything is opposite of what it appears to be. Nothing is opposite of what it appears to be. Everything is opposite of what it appears to be. Nothing is opposite of what it appears to be. Everything is opposite of what it appears to be. Nothing is opposite of what it appears to be. Everything yeah. is opposite of what it appears to be, and and nothing, nothing is opposite of what it appears to be. Appears to be. All right. So before, oh, so we've got my old friend uh, Reem today with us, and unfortunately, she came just when we are about to close the session. So let's all give her a warm welcome. Welcome, Reem. Please show yourself and say a few words to these wonderful, magnificent, extraordinary people who are just yeah. like you. Yeah. Good morning, everyone. Thank you so much. I'm sorry for uh, coming at this moment. I should have. Uh, at least you came, no? Uh, yeah, I did. Um, but uh, I'll try my best to, to come from now on. Uh, yeah. In the in, in the meantime, you can uh, listen to the recording. Today's session, okay. wonderful session. Thank you very much for being there. and just say with us everything is the opposite of what it appears to be and nothing is the opposite of what it appears to be it is there in the chat box you can copy it and say it whatever situation is troubling you in that situation visualize it and say it 10 times see the magic happening in your life all right and before we close today's session everybody will remember to say all of life comes to me with ease joy and glory all of life comes to me with ease joy and glory All of life comes to me with peace, life, joy, and glory. All of all of life comes to me with peace, joy, and glory. All of life comes to me with peace, joy, and glory. All of life, all of life comes to me with peace and joy, glory. Comes to me. Yeah, and it's okay to smile as you say it also. <laughs> you don't have to be serious, you know. Joy means laughter, enjoyment. All right. So all my wonderful, magnificent, extraordinary, wonderful people have a wonderful Sunday. See you tomorrow morning. and don't forget your good to great session is in the evening tomorrow yeah. those who don't know what it is you can ask it's a wonderful program you will love to be a part of it okay yes, i have a small request sir yes sir ready karu regarding, regarding the timings uh, every day i am going to office after hour late yeah so all right so we said that once we have enough people we will make a poll and find out so let's quickly yes. do that in the chat box 
there will be i am asking you to choose between three options all right so the morning session should be at 7 am that is option number 1 should the session be at 7:30 option number 2 and should it be at 8 am option number 3 so if you want it to be at 7 am say number 1 if you want it to be at 7:30 am say option number 2 if you want it to be at 8 am put option number 3 So everybody, please put one option. We will count it and then decide which one it should and, be. And please select the everyone's uh, option so that everyone can see the polling. Yeah. Yeah. Quickly, everybody, just put your number. Three forty a.m. I don't get that. Seven thirty a.m. or three forty a.m. Somebody put three forty a.m. Uh, so everyone option doesn't come. So you know either it goes. You it just goes put it wherever I can see it. So yeah. I will yeah. take a count on that. Okay, just put. Sorry, sir. I didn't notice. Never mind. Never mind. I will tell you after the meeting is over, and you can write it down. With we will, we will do the counting. You know, vote counting. We will do the vote counting. Okay, everybody has put it. I hope fifteen people have put press the button. Reem, you also press option number one, two, or three. One is seven a.m. Two is seven thirty a.m. India time. And three is eight a.m. India time. Joke, ah, Suchitra, you are joking. Okay, okay, we are laughing. <laughs> Let me generate some laughter. Lena, so it looks like it's going to be seven thirty. You think you will have to stretch a little bit? Okay. Right. Okay. All right, everybody. Thank you very much. Except for. Our four stalwarts. Everybody else may leave the meeting. Reem, I hope Thanks. to see you tomorrow. I also would love to see you in our good to great program. So we require a recording. Thank you. Of course, you will Thank get you recording. Thank you so much. Well, uh, yesterday's session we didn't. No, it is there. No, it's not on the group. No, I put it. I'll put it again. See, the thing is, so many things are coming. It might have gone up and down. Just search for it. I'll put it again if you want. No problem. Thank you, sir. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you so much, sir. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So, Lena, thank you very much. See you tomorrow. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Sir. Okay. Now you take out your paper and pencil, whatever, mm -hmm. and we will. Nidhi's thing uh, is not to be seen. Nidhi says two. All right. Okay, write down. Nidhi says two. Lena says three. Suchitra says two. Shiva says two. Vitrivel says one. Purushottam says one. Rama says two. Nidhi says one. Shiva says two. Rajeshikran says three. Shakti says one. Kasa says two. Neeti says one. First she says one, and she says another one. Okay, never mind. So how many? Can you make the tally with whatever we have? Sir, you can stop the recording. I can stop the recording. Okay.